just just when we're talking about the Cannington Shore one and the the friends of Cannington Shore and we're trying to get it preserved and so on because it's the last one. There's no there's no others in the world for this. Uh, getting it preserved, but there was another one up at Raven Ed. And I remember that, it was in it at the side of the canteen, it was in what they called number three. And we used to take short cuts through there. And all it was was a sense, you had your cone at the top, right, which was all round. And I didn't take much notice when you when you young lads like, you know, and it was all round in the middle. But these apertures there were, one said, oh, that's where they used to get the glass out of, like, you know, for making, it used to be a, a, another old furnace. But unfortunately, that burnt down. Uh, there's a couple of mysterious fires happened at UGB. And people used to be saying, oh, uh, there was one at Shirdley that got to, um, uh, burnt some important stuff down. And uh, that one at Raven Ed. I didn't mention before that the, the one at, at, um, at Shirdley, the Kennington Shaw one, that was number seven tank, that one. That, 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 that's what his number was, number seven tank. Uh, I remember it. Um, I didn't really work over in Shirley, but we used to go over there and it, it was near the main entrance where you went in. And uh, I, I believe it became used as a storeroom, stores, uh, with a ramp outside as well. And uh, the, the, the store man there, he, he, he used to have this jow javelin What's a Jowett Javelin, do you know? No. A classic car, and it was a green one. And he used to always park it right near to uh, where the stores was, where number seven tank was. And not far away from seven tank was, and it was all white, a whitewashed corridor, was where the first aid centre used to be as well, like, you know. Um, but as I'm saying, over there, there was one Owens machine uh, over in Shirley and uh, Lynch's and uh, O'Neill machines, like, you know. It was hard work. What were uh, the shifts like? How long were the shifts? Well, night, night turn would be uh, 10 o'clock till 7. You know, half past nine, 10 o'clock. Well, half past nine, we used to go in first, so... Um, the other lads could, uh, you'd think it was in the bottle works, wouldn't you, with all the bottles not lying about? Uh, so they could go off and get a pint, like, you know, uh, you know it's seven o'clock in the morning. So I think, if I, can't, if I can remember, what, was it half past one or half past two we worked till? And then half past two to half past nine, an afternoon shift. And on a night shift, half past nine till, till seven o'clock, early morning. So it's continuous. 24 hours a day, yeah. yeah. Um, there's um, the, 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 the supervisor there, his name was Jackie, Jack Pimlet. Billy, no, Billy Pimlet his name was. Ernie Elmus, uh, he was one of the um, uh, dare turn supervisors. And Billy Barker was another, and there was a, a few Barkers there and um, if you had a look at them, you could tell there was a bike because they all re virtually looked the same, like, you know. Uh, wonderful uh, uh, gentleman. There was Bob Rock. I think he had about nine children he did. You know Bob, Bob Rock. He, he, he's operating number two. Did you have any social events? Did you? Anything organised? Not really. Um, they did when I was at, at um, Shirley, the um, dad nights out taking your wives, like if you go on a coach, like Wakefield by his, uh, Theatre Club, you know, when Shirley Bassey and all them, we used to go over there, all these big stars. Back the Variety Club, like, you know, um, oh, our lads, lads used to go on. Um, do it Bolton Pally in the minibus, you know. Uh, it's, I mean, uh, there was. That was basically, when, it, when you had dues like that, that was all it basically at Peasley Cross. Because I was saying to you before, at Raven Ed, 
the the operators were all elderly, the elderly men, elderly men. Like you know, when I was twenty, they, some of them was near enough sixty, and and so on like that. You know, and Dickie Sarbut, he, he he worked in them temp, them conditions for many many years, many 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 years, and he finished up being Perkins, um, UG's oldest pensioner. He had even ninety odd when when he died. And he lived up here, Doc, yeah. I never liked him though when I was a lad. <laughs> I, uh, he had white, white hair, white hair and uh, um, I'd ask, ask him permission, can I go and get a bottle of water? And I, I'd get a crate, believe it or not, a milk crate, full of pint bottles and fill them with water and I'd soap them in a shift, you know. and. Uh, I was being courteous and everything like that, and uh, I want to go and get some water. No, you're not going, you're not going like that. And I said one day, I went to that little foreman who was telling you about Neddy Wilson. I said, Neddy, I said, take me off there. I said, I'll, I'll kill him. I'll, I'll, I'll let him with one of them blank sticks, you know. And anyway, Neddy took me off, like, you know, and uh, oh, uh, So, how much water would you drink on a shift? Me? Yeah. I used to drink that much, much it used to make me sick, believe it or not. Because it was so hot? Gallons. Gallons. Yeah. It's, um, no, it wasn't, there was no, I mean, at, at Peely Cross, they did, they did have machines there with ice water that you could have a drink out of, like, you know. But at the Raven Ed, no, there was nothing like that. Uh, when I first went there, the, the, uh, the canteen was wooden tables and they used to put these dishes on with, with food in and they used to scrub it out like that, you know. And uh, there was an old woman there and uh, what was her name now? It'll come to me in a moment. Annie. And she was all, all dressed in black with um, uh, an apron on uh, made out of sacking. She always wore clogs. And if you put your feet up on, on one of the benches, you didn't sit on chairs, you sat on benches. She'd rackly a bit mop, you know. Oh, what was her name, Annie, Annie somewhere. But I did hear that the manager of the works, uh, I think it was Mr. Cole, um, it was him who financed the wages. Cause she must have been 70 or 80, if not more, like, you know. That's, um, so he was just looking after her? Yeah. Uh, and just one more thing, the other thing that they had at, at Ravenhead as well, was they had an anomaly in room there. And they, they used to put um, gold on uh, on glasses and all that was hand done. Now, you see all that gold in jars and it used to go off. So they just throw it away. So they well, I wish you had some of them jars now, because that was 22 karat gold, that was. And they used to throw them away, and, and it was still there. Now, if they've had it to the, these days in the place of gold now, you could have sold that and you'd have made a few bob out of them, yeah. like, you know, but you never thought about anything like that, you know. The the other thing is uh, that they made at Ravenhead was, was table were Press were like fruit bowls and things like that, and champagne glasses and everything, and uh, tumblers with playing cards on and everything like that. And the stuff that you used to um, go out through the lodge there was unbelievable. And what went o out over the wall, like, you know. And there was a cell went round there one day, one of the furnaces was out. And he used to enjoy it like, like that. You'd, you'd work in the uh, OM shop, like, you know, and so on, like that, work with the fitters. And the, there was a cell going round there about this um, bloke. Every night when he was going off shift, he had this wheelbarrow with a sack on it, and a um, policeman, he, he's beyond on lodge gate, like, you know, say, hey, oh, hang on, what have we got under there? I said, there's nights under there. And he'd go on, and he'd lift, he'd lift sacking up, have a look like that, he'd go on, on your way then. And it's going on for weeks, this. And this night he was in a pub, he said, look, he said, I'm not working now like that. He said, I know you're pinching so much, but he said, I can't find out what it is. He said, come on, he said, I won't deny it about it. What was your pinching? He said wheelbarrows. Ah, <laughs> 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 So you, you had you had your funny times like that, you know, and um, 
Uh, happy days. It's, uh, it's an experience. Uh, right, we need to finish there. Yeah. Uh, should, we, should yeah. we make a note of the date? Because it's Wednesday, 11th July 2018. Eng England's playing the cup final, and not what's well, <laughs> England's playing Croatia in the yeah. semi finals of the World Cup. Yeah. And we don't know, it's happening now. And neither of us are that. You're not bothered, Caroline's not bothered, and I'm not that bothered. So. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be watching it uh, afterwards. Yeah. If you ever want to do it again, give me a bit of time, I'll do a bit of research. I'll see what I can, what I can come up with. How much time did you want? You've been researching it for 34 years, you said. Didn't I'd you? ask an owl that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> as well as all the other things you're looking into as well, like, you know. Oh, well, we'll come back in 34 years, <laughs> Bennett. <laughs>